Ian Pearson's vision of the future is a world where powerful computers could be made at incredibly low cost. And he believes that if you could make computers cheaply, you could afford to have them everywhere. Even woven into the shirt on your back. I mean, supposing 20, 30 years from now, I'm wearing a really smart shirt and I have an accident. That shirt knows I've had an accident because it can measure the G-forces. It might even measure that I'm bleeding. The shirt could tell the ambulance in great detail while they're on the way exactly what's wrong with me so they've got the equipment ready for when they arrive. It might save my life. More powerful computers would allow us to crack age-old problems that have defeated science, like understanding the extreme complexities of our climate. Molecular computers would give us faster, more accurate forecasting of even the most complicated weather systems. If we got molecular computing giving us phenomenal processing power to handle all of that, we'd be able to do far more accurate forecasting, maybe give people more advanced warning of storms and hurricanes, and we'd save people's lives. But it could go even further. Molecular transistors may one day usher in a world of nanotechnology.